Hello and welcome to Solove, powered by relationships. Today we're going to take a brief look at the Solove enrollment process and what you can expect when you come on board with the Solove community. This is a step-by-step -step guide to getting you out of the lane and into the main Solove community. Upon receiving your invite, you can go directly to your lane at thelane.solove.com. You'll be able to enter in your email address and password to log in to your lane where then you will see an enroll button at the top of your page. To enroll yourself, simply click enroll yourself at the bottom of the page. Then you will be directed into phase one of our Solove enrollment experience. This is where you will sign up for your Solove mobile service. Simply click get started to begin. Step two is to check your coverage. Here you will enter the zip code of the primary location in which you will be using your phone and press check coverage. If the zip code entered is not within Solove coverage, you will receive a message that you are out of coverage and will be provided an option to become a social member without service by simply clicking learn more. Then click next. Step three is to choose your device. To purchase a phone, use the select option under the phone you wish to buy. For those of you who are wanting to bring your own phone, you should click the Use Your Own Phone link at the top of the page. Step four is to validate your phone. To see if your current phone is compatible with Solove service, check the IMEI of your device by entering star pound zero six pound send. If that short code does not produce an IMEI number, the phone is not a GSM device and is not compatible with Solove. Now founding members have been emailed a private code that you will need to put into the IMEI boxes so you can receive founding member access. Step 5 then is to set up your service plan. This is where you will choose to either port over your existing phone number or be assigned a new number for your mobile device. The system automatically defaults to the option of, sign, of signing you a new number with Solove. If you'd like to bring or port over your current number to Solove, you must enter that number twice to see if it passes the eligibility test. Please, if you would like to port over your number, this is when you need to do it, as it is not guaranteed that you will be able to do it later. Once you confirm eligibility, press Next. Step 6 is to enter your personal information. Be sure and select the year of birth prior to selecting the month. Members between 14 and 17 must have a co-signer and are not eligible to become a social member. You can see the document Family and Business Options if you'd like more information about how to set up your family or businesses. Now, select a unique username email and password. Please note that the username that you choose cannot be changed in the future so be sure to select a username that you want your team and other members to know you as in the Solove community. Once you do that along with getting your email and password set up click Next. Now step 7 is to enter your shipping information. Please remember P.O. Box shipping is not allowed. You'll want to find a street address where you would like the phone or SIM card to be shipped. You can call the bank who issued you your credit card and ask them to add a secondary address to the account profile. This can usually not be done over the website so you might need to complete it by a phone call. Then click Next. Step 8 is to review and confirm your order. Once you click Accept, remember this is your opportunity to have full mobile service with Solove. Remember, during pre-launch, the enrollment path is the only place you will have the ability to enroll in AutoPay using the same card that you used for the initial payment. You can disable your pop-up blocker as well if you need to ensure proper functionality. Then click Pay Now. Step 9 is to start the pay card enrollment. Be sure to not stop here because you're not finished. Congratulations are in order because phase one is complete which means you have enrolled for Solove mobile service but you're not finished. Now it's time to move to phase two, choose your sponsor and set up your social network profile so others can find you as their sponsor. 
Click Continue Enrollment once you see this screen to connect with your sponsor and set up your social network profile. You may want to take note of your member ID, although it's going to be emailed to you, it's good to take note of it anyhow. To access your community directly, you can go to myweb.solovey.com. There you will be able to enter your new username and password. For now, just click Continue Enrollment. Once you are at that enrollment page, you will be able to log in to the Solovey community with your email address and login name, as well as the password you chose in the enrollment process. Step 11 of Phase 2 is to connect to your social network sites. Now this is optional. If you'd like to skip this and do it later, just push Skip Now. To go ahead and connect and import your contacts from Facebook or Twitter, go ahead and click the appropriate icon. Remember, there might be a delay in populating your pictures and you may also need to unblock the pop-up blocker. Step 12 is to choose your sponsor. Now this is a very important step to your enrollment process. Members invited from the lane will have their sponsor pre-populated in this step and their picture should appear along with their name. If for some reason it does not appear, you will be given the option to confirm your sponsor with three choices by finding them on Facebook, searching for them by their phone number, or by finding out how otherwise you came to learn about Solovey. Our encouragement is to confirm your sponsor by their telephone number. This may mean that you need to call them and ask them which phone number they would like for you to utilize. To change sponsors, a small option at the bottom of the left of the screen will be available, but we encourage you, stay connected with the people that invited you to Solovey. Remember, Solovey is powered by relationships. This is the time for you to do business with people you like, love, and trust. If for some reason the sponsor is not displayed, a lookup screen will display, giving these other options to find your sponsor. Members who enroll via Solovey.com after national launch will have the ability to select a sponsor from their social network sites by phone number or be assigned a sponsor from Solovey. Please, I want to reiterate, this is a very important step. Make sure if you have any questions about how to contact your sponsor and confirm them, be sure and contact them by phone and say, please help me through this process as I want to make sure that I choose you as my sponsor. Once you have confirmed them as your sponsor, click Next and you will see the Confirm page. Their picture will appear. If for some reason they have multiple accounts, multiple pictures for that same sponsor may appear. We encourage you contact your sponsor and ask them which account would they like you to be ascribed to. Once you choose, just click Next. Now we are into phase three, where you are going to be able to have your social member pay card set up. Very simply, click next on this page saying that you want to get paid with Solovey. Step 15 is the social member sign up. To get a pay card, members must complete the social member sign up. All information that has been previously entered in your enrollment process will auto populate in the sign up screen. But in order for us to make sure you get paid, you'll need to put in your social security number. Then view the social member agreement and click I agree to the term buttons and click next. Now 16, now you can celebrate. Now you are an official and fully engaged Solovey member. To finalize and confirm your member setup, click next. Be sure before you celebrate, make sure you've done the three things. Phase one is Solovey mobile service. Phase two was to make sure that you choose your sponsor and set up your social network. And phase three is to set up your pay card and submit your social security number. Once you've done those three things, you are ready to personalize your profile. This is exciting as your Facebook photo will automatically populate as the default picture. But if you'd like to change your picture, you can do so at any time by simply clicking on the pencil mark over the photo display. Enter a personal quote or status in the box below your location and tell the community about you or something that you're interested in. Click next and you will then enter the Solovey community. Now, for those of you who wanna go back 
and begin inviting people to the Solovey community from your lane, this is where phase four begins, inviting others. Step 18 is where you return to the lane and invite your contacts to do the three things. Phase one, sign up for mobile service. Phase two, set up their social networks and choose their sponsor. And phase three, set up their pay card. To do so, go back to your lane and simply click the button that says invite others. Inviting others to the new Solave community is simple, but before you're able to do so, we want to make sure you've completed your entire enrollment process. To send invitations, please confirm that you have completed the following. One, have you completed your mobile service enrollment? Have you set up your personal profile and social networks? Have you chosen your sponsor or asked to be assigned? Those are three very important things before you begin inviting others. Once you do, congratulations! You're ready to start inviting your lane to the Solave community. Simply click on Invite Others. This is what the invitation will look like. You will be able to go into your lane now and invite your people. Auto-populated in the spaces provided will be your username. You are the enroller. If you are looking to enroll Jane Doe in this instance, Mike Jones, well, your name is already in there. Jim Bob is going to also be enrolled by you. But what if you want Sally Jane to be enrolled by Jane Doe? Well, all you have to do is put Jane Doe in the enrollers spot and it will automatically be ascribed to Jane Doe. Do this with all of your list in your lane you will be able to assign people to whomever you wish them to be in the front line of which enroller simply by putting the enroller's name in the box. Then press invite members. We want to thank you for being a part of this tutorial. We encourage you to take your time through the process. If you should have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact member support at solave.com.